Suspended MDCT Vice President Thokazani Koop's troubles continue to mount after eight MDCT political provinces endorsed her suspension. The eight provinces are Bulawayo, Harare, Matabeland North, Matabeland South, Mashonaland Central, Manicaland, Midlands North, and the province of South Africa. They issued uniform statements Friday and Saturday pronouncing their support for party president Douglas Munzora, saying his decision to suspend Coop was above board and now awaits adjudication by the MDCT a bitter general. The party's Women Assembly also issued a statement signed off by the organ's information secretary, Laswi Sabanda in solidarity with Munzara. Supposedly her bastion of support, Bulawayo province was the first to issue a statement distancing itself from Coop's Theatrix after she claimed Munzara had fired himself by having written to the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission, ZEC, by virtue of having declared his party would contest the upcoming by-elections as MDC Alliance, the same title used by rival leader Nelson Chamisa's party. In its communique, MDCT Bulawayo Information Secretary, Lucky Kuma wrote, the province wishes to distance itself from the press conference hosted by suspended Vice President, VP, Dr. Thokazani Koop, in Bulawayo earlier today. We are fully aware that she has been suspended from all party activities pending her appearance before the Abitur General in his Balanced Disciplinary Committee. We urge our genuine MDCT members, our MDC alliance partners, and all Zimbabweans in general, to totally ignore this unsanctioned event, designed for the purposes of scoring cheap and temporary goals. We affirm the decision of our party and President Douglas T. Winzora to suspend VP Coop. Dot the province went on to describe her as belligerent in nature. It is clearly remembered how she repeatedly fought without a cause with our late President Morgan Spangeri and the MDCT family. The MDCT has not split Cuma said. A similar letter was reproduced by the other seven provinces. The calls by provincial structures for the former deputy prime minister in the government of national unity, new, to let due process take its course, comes amid resistance from the embattled politician. Last week, Coop claimed Munzora, a Manicaland senator, had entered into a new political alliance with two political parties, effectively invalidating the pre-2018 electoral pact signed between the late Svangirai and seven other party leaders. Addressing journalists in Bulawayo Friday, Coop, who announced her breakaway from Munzara's outfit, claimed that Munzara had now penned a fresh agreement with the Lucia Matabengal led PDP and Shupakai Mandaza of MDCN. She also said Munzara had expelled himself from the party after he wrote a letter to Zek notifying the electoral body that the MDCT will contest the upcoming by elections as MDC Alliance. Surely with all these transgressions Douglas Tagarasam Munzora cannot continue at the helm of a democratic party such as the MDCT. As deputy president, I played my part in advising him in terms of my constitutional role in Article 9. 2.1. She said then. Munzora has dug in saying both the MDCT and MDC alliance brands belong to his party.